Whitney is one of the very few, if any, fabulous ballad singers mm -hmm. who also can do dance yeah. and up-tempo mm -hmm. music. I mean, in her own way, yeah. she was unequaled and unrivaled. Her, oh, her gift, um, and it's Did you been feel like sad for me yeah. that the two documentaries on Whitney only concentrated on the drug addiction, on the bad marriage, mm -hmm. and yes, she did have, so I'm not whitewashing that, yeah. but it did not capture the other side of Whitney. Mm -hmm. It did not capture. I would tell your audience, if they could go online or in her Greatest Hits album, they have a, a video compilation, mm -hmm. go to the American Music Awards performance of Whitney doing a medley of I Love You, Porgy, from Porgy and Bess, yeah. going into and I Tell You I'm Not Going, mm -hmm. songs not associated with yeah. Whitney, from Dreamgirls, mm -hmm. and ending with I Have Nothing. That was the other side of Whitney that nobody has captured. Yeah. And it's very unfair mm -hmm. that if someone has that other side, that you don't portray it. And I went to the director of the second documentary. And the one I done said, by her family. What's that? The one sanctioned by her family. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I said, you've left out her whole musical career. Yeah. I mean, you have me in it, merely introducing her on the Merv Griffin show. You don't have David Foster. You don't have Babyface. You don't have BB or CC mm -hmm. and You don't have the peers of why we all knew that she and Aretha were in a class by her yeah. themselves. And I said, that's so unfair. So I hope that when Whitney's biopic is done, yes, tell it all. Yes. There's no question about it. The lethal power of drugs yeah. silenced this vibrant woman. Uh, she was not just what she was on the Diane Sawyer show. Mm -hmm. She look at that performance yes. and you can't rationalize it she yeah. was incredible yes. unmatchable yeah it's certainly